All right, have you ever thought about consignment, either buying something that's being consigned or maybe even consigning yourself? your own items. Yeah, either way, it can be a win-win situation for you and your home. And today we're talking about the whole consignment process, how to start, what should be consigned, and how much you can expect to make. And who better to turn to for the answers on the subject, Middlebury Consignment. Take a look. Hello and welcome to Couch Talk. No, this is actually <laughs> Rachel Yemenis. Um, we are here at Middlebury Consignment and we're sitting on a consigned sofa. We are. And I kind of want to educate the people on how the consignment process works because so many people are like, how do I consign furniture and also how do I buy the consigned furniture? Mm -hmm. And Middlebury Consignment, you guys have really done a remarkable job of getting this furniture in and out. So first of all, tell, tell us the journey of a sofa like this. How would it start? Sure, so a consigner, we, we, we consign with people from all over the Northeast, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York. The first step in the process is for us to see pictures. Typically we don't go out to the homes, but most people will email us pictures or they mail us pictures in. We'll take a look at the pictures and then if we have questions, then we'll go back to the cons potential consigner with questions um, on the piece. So the most important question is always what's the condition? The, as you see, Scott, everything we take here is in really good to excellent condition. Right. I mean, you're not going to find tears or rips or scratches or dings and things like this. This is really high-end furniture. Right. And it's comforting to know for the people who are buying our things that we've done this screening process and we've really examined the pieces and we know that everything coming in here is in really good condition and very gently used. So that's the first step. And then once we determine which pieces we're going to take, we actually preset our the person up into the system as a consigner. So we do all the paperwork and all the necessary information. We either schedule a pickup. Most people use our pickup service. And there's um, a fee for this. There a fee. For there that? is a fee. Upon arrival, your furniture will be stamped with your information, so there's no confusion that it's yours. It's tagged with your name right away. And then we bring it into our, um, our loading dock that's located at our annex, which is two miles down the road. We bring it in there, we examine the pieces, we touch them up if necessary. Um, and then what we do is we photograph them, we take measurements. We already have detailed information on the pieces, who the manufacturer is, the age, etc. We put that in the computer, we take a picture, we upload it to our website. We put it in our system, and then we put the furniture or item, whatever it is, out on the floor. Now, who determines the price that it's going to be set at? Like, for instance, this sofa, who determines how much you're going to sell it for? So, what typically our consigners like is they like a ballpark, so before we consign. And we can give them that based on the picture. We can give them a good ballpark on what we're going to sell it for, uh, based on what we know we get for pieces and what the value is. So we can give them a ballpark, and then once we get it in and actually see it in person is when we determine the actual price. And what is the breakdown? The consigner gets how much and the middleware consignment gets how much? It's a 50-50 split for pretty much most pieces, except really large pieces of furniture. We actually take a 60-40. Okay, but 50-50 is pretty good. 50-50, yeah. So if you're thinking about getting rid of your furniture, why not start a middleware consignment? Yeah. And then coming in and shopping for, for consigned furniture. I mean, you can turn around and consign all of your furniture yeah. and then come in and buy other consigned pieces or go up to the design center and get brand new furniture. Right. We often have people who just came from Ethan Allen or Thomasville and they're kicking themselves that they just spent three times as much they would have spent if they came here first. Which is And great. got the same name brands. So if you have some scratches on your furniture or something like that, like the ripping in the fabric, maybe a cat scratch, that would not, you can't do that really. Cat scratches aren't going to bode too well, but if it's like a mark on a piece of furniture, like for instance, if this mark, uh, you can't, like on a table, they could like touch, touch it up, that with, up with a pen or a pen, you know, like with a, a furniture pen or uh, uh, ink like that, but that could be touched up. But you know, for the most part, they're really looking for high quality, like new. high end, like new furniture. Wow. And uh, I'm going to be there in October. I think it's October 24th, and I'm also going to be there December 12th for a big Christmas event. I can't believe we're talking about this. Oh Christmas. my gosh! And my book, my calendar is booked for December 12th. So come on out and join me. Little Bear Consignment is going to be a pet fundraiser, and you get to shop around and take a look at the store and have some nice lunch, and uh, it's great. So it's brand new. Uh, they have a brand new name. It's called Middlebury Consignment and Home Design, and that's to let people know that they carry brand new lines of furniture as well as consigned pieces. So you can look at both. Take your money from the consignment and buy something new. Exactly right. <laughs> they have a complete design center, so go spend the day. And next up, we are heading back to the